Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Savoy, where we are at war with Pisa and Venice over some eh, pointless stuff. With Pisa, we were going to give that to our vassal, and with Venice, well, it's not my war, so we're just going to ignore that one. We have some missions here to protect, protect against France, vassalize Auvergne, and improve our prestige. None of them are going to happen anytime soon, um, but the prestige one could surprise us. Just get some free stability out of thin air. It's probably not worth keeping, but uh, we'll try it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody interesting has. Uh... Wait a minute, Venice is a monarchy. Venice is a monarchy. Wasn't he? A... Yeah, Venice was a republic just a little bit ago. Remember, he had that six three three, and now he's a monarchy with no heir. That must have just happened. That must have just happened. He has no marriages or anything. Oh wow. Interesting. Why are you a monarchy? I don't know. But hey, he's he's 20 years old. He's going to make some babies, or try to. We're currently fabricating on France. And hopefully we can go to war with France sometime soon. I think I would like to get, make him give some of this land back to Navarre or Burgundy, but the problem is doing that gives me aggressive expansion, which blows my fucking mind. Making France give land back to someone else should not give me aggressive expansion. But we already saw that happen. We already saw when we took Florence for our vassal, we took, what, eight, nine aggressive expansion? It was nuts. Anyway, keep relations up with our neighbor, our allies. They're pretty happy. They're pretty damn happy. Well, let's work on someone else then. Are you happy? You're happy. All right. Uh, could fabricate on Milan, but we already have a claim here. I don't think I need to fabricate on Milan. Could go for Burgon. Burgon would be nice, but that's a lot of aggressive expansion. Yeah, we, we really need to get uh, cheaper aggressive expansion, or less aggressive expansion, which is going to be the influence ideas. Where is it? There it is. 20% less aggressive expansion, which is not a ton, but it adds up, right? 20% less is quite a bit. If you're taking like 200, then that's 40 less aggressive expansion. Hmm. What is this diplomat going to do? I don't know. Just get relations up with whomever. Oh, England's got rebels. I love it. Catholic zealots. Are you, uh... Did you take religious? You did not take religious. So those Catholic zealots are purely the result of your decision to, um... Handle your Protestantism in a, in a poor manner. You could have handled that better, I should say. It looks like he will kill the rebels, though. No, we can't be a kingdom if we're in the Empire, Dav. We'd have to leave the Empire to be a kingdom. We're pretty much done with conversion, right? Anything left to convert? Wallace. Alright. Alright, are we done with the siege? We're done with the siege. Alright, let's take a look and see how much aggressive expansion we have right now. Let's see, 0, 14. Okay, so if we take... Okay, 17 in Switzerland. But I don't think Switzerland is represented... No, Switzerland's the only one with 17. So if we take 16 or less, nobody's going to be able to coalition us. So let's see how much AE this is. Ooh, money or diplo points. I'll take the diplo points. Thank you. We have money, so diplo points is the obvious choice. Come on back. And let's see what kind of peace deal we can work out. Thirteen. Oh man, it gives us twenty-three. Wow, that's a lot. If we do that, we're going to get coalitioned. 
which means we probably need to wait. Is there a better relations over time guy? There is not. Hmm. All right, well, we're just going to hold on to that war for a little while, I guess. There's no rush. Uh, we don't have call for peace yet. We did declare reconquest, and we still get AE, yes. 23 aggressive expansion for reconquest of an already existing core. That's so brutal. Yep. Reconquest. Hello, Invictus. Brandenburg's the Emperor. Oh, he enacted a reform. Oh, we get National Unrest minus two. Well, that's handy. Thanks, Emperor. Cool. Okay. Cost IP? No, I'm not going to take this myself. It's not my core. It's my vassal's core. So, of course, I'm not going to take it myself. That would be silly. Switzerland's improving relations with us? Really? You want to vassalize? No. He just wants to be happy, that's all. He wants me to not fight him. I'll think about it, Switzerland. I'll think about it. All right, we got a CB on France. Let's get another CB on France. Marriage with the Emperor. You got it. Nothing wrong with marrying the Emperor. Okay, so since he took... Since the Emperor took some land from the Empire, from another nation in the Empire... Lots of people have decided not to vote for him, but he still has three votes, which is enough to remain emperor. Well, there you go. We've converted everything. We can no longer convert. There's nothing to convert. Wow. And my vassal's pretty much done converting everything as well. Oh, look at that. The Mamluks took Crete. Yeah? Oh, it doesn't say what the peace deal was. Venice has accepted peace with the Mamluks. What the hell, Paradox? Why? For these two wars... Look at this. For these two wars here, it shows you exactly what the peace deal is, right here in the log. But for this war, it just says Venice has accepted peace with the Mamluks. And obviously, obviously the peace included this province, which the Mamluks had a claim on, and now they own, so they're going to core it. They just took that from Venice. But in the, in the log, it only shows they just peaced out. It doesn't say what the peace deal is. Come on, Paradox. Why do you sometimes tell us the peace deal and sometimes you don't tell us shit? Tell us the fucking peace deal. My voice makes your son go to sleep? Cool. At least it doesn't make you go to sleep. That would be awful. Wait a minute, Burgundy just collapsed? Does that mean his primary culture is now Valonian? No. Okay, so that's different. So in the past, if you collapsed and you were a one province minor, if you collapsed and you were a one province minor, you would adopt the culture and religion of the province where your capital is, where your one province is. But that doesn't happen anymore. Burgundy just collapsed. Burgundy is broken. But he is not Valonian culture. He's still Burgundian culture. Interesting. There you 
There you go. Tuscany finished all of his conversions. Congratulations, Tuscany. How's your independence desire? 12%. Cool. Muscovy will give the Ottomans 10% of their income. All right. Muscovy's losing a war to Crimea. Oh, peace. he just peaced out. Interesting. So he didn't really lose anything. He's been through three wars with the Golden Horde, Crimea, and the Ottomans all very recently, and he didn't lose any land, which is amazing. France allied Austria. Five years before we could declare. Well, that goes out the window. I guess that means we're going to declare on Milan. Albania, France, we're temper Yeah, that's fine. We can declare on Milan and call in France as a co-belligerent. That works. Because we don't need to take land from Milan. Yeah, the Iberian wedding happened, but Castile's only tech 7. Um, and he's taking religious right now, so he's not going to be teching up. So he can't form Spain for a little while. I'm really hoping he loses prestige somehow. Because he's sitting on 32 prestige. He needs to lose it. He needs to go to negative 5 prestige and then die. So that the uh, union can break. We need that to happen. I don't know when. I don't know how. But it needs to happen. Alright, so let's take a look at the AE. We're getting 23 from the peace deal. 14. So this should go down to 12 or 11. Pause the game. It went down to 10. Oh, beautiful. All right, perfect. 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 We're good. Let's peace out. Goodbye, Pisa. Gosh, 23 aggressive expansion. That's so much for one little province. Force religion. Take that, you derp. And because we forced religion, it automatically converted his province to my religion, which is Protestantism. So my vassal doesn't even have to convert it. It's just automatic. All right, so how's our AE look now? 30, 13, 23, 30, 30... Yeah, so it's about 30 with some, but I don't think we're going to get a coalition. We'll see. Ferrara wants an alliance. All right, I'll improve relations. Naples, could you please peace out of this war? I want to get rid of my exhaustion. Hey, Milan's friendly again. <laughs> Why so friendly, Milan? Oh, there you go. There's the peace deal. We'll give Cremona to Milan. Oh, he made Venice give Cremona back to Milan. Interesting. All right. Whatever. Castile's improving relations. All right. Pisa's not little. Sure it is. See? See how tiny that is? He's got a fort. But having a fort doesn't make him any, any uh, larger. Noble's worried. Lose stability. Yay, thanks, game. Thanks for that. Alright, let's go back on patrol. Making 12.8 ducats. What about once we get our navy out there? Okay, two claims on France is probably plenty. I'll take those two provinces, and then we'll make him release Nevers, or something like that. Something like that. I don't think I need to fabricate on anything more. I'm surprised England's not killing his religious rebels. That seems a little weird. Hansa is eating Denmark again. Yep. God. And yeah, the Livonian Order took over Mimel from the Teutonic Order, and I don't know why. 
Uh, they did it in 1511. I don't remember that peace deal. But why would Livonian Order even go to war with the Teutons? They're like historical friends. They're always allied. They're not allied right now, though. Gosh, this relations with Austria are getting so low. All right, I can set a new rival. Oh, goodness. I could do Portugal or the Mamluks. I'm not going to do Naples. I'm not going to do Castile. And I'm not going to do Austria. So it's either Portugal or the Mamluks. Who hates Portugal? Like, nobody? Yeah, nobody hates Portugal. Who hates the Mamluks? I assume the Ottomans do. Yeah, the Ottomans do. England does. All right, Mamluks. Done. Uh, were we embargoing Milan? We were not. Okay, so we can embargo embargo the Mamluks. Denmark will cede Schleswig, Finn, Midtjylland, Holstein, Lolland, and Nordjylland to the Hansa. Oh my god. That's got to be some monstrous aggressive expansion. No, actually, it's only 24. Germany doesn't care about Denmark. Oh my, look at this. Nobody gives a shit about Denmark. The only nations that care are Brunswick, who's got two provinces. Lüneburg, which has one province. No, no. Denmark, obviously. And that's it. These are the only two guys who can possibly join the coalition. These two. How... How do you get away with that? How... I took one province here. I took Pisa. And that one province was 23 aggressive expansion with all of Europe. Well, pretty much. It was a huge 23 aggressive expansion with tons of nations. You took the entire... Yiland Peninsula and Finn and Lolland. One, two, three, four, five. You took six provinces and no one gives any shits. What the fuck? I want to know your secrets. Denmark's not in the HRE. No shit. Neither is Pisa. Does Pisa look like it's in the HRE? Pisa is not in the HRE. Let's look at the HRE map mode. Oh, look at that. Pisa's not in the HRE. What do you know? All right, come on back. What are we going to do? We're going to do something. I forget what I was going to do with my diplomat. I'm bringing him home for some reason. It's not to fabricate on anything. When do I want to next Tuscany? I could feed him Roma. I should probably feed him Roma. He's got a claim on it, too. Oh, baby, he's got a claim on it. <laughs> That is just the best thing ever. I don't care who his allies are. I need to see who would join me in a war against Milan. Oh, right, I'm going to set embargoes. It's to set embargoes, that's what it's for. I also need to send an insult to someone. I guess I could send an insult to Venice. Sweden declared war on Denmark. Yeah, Denmark's getting full annexed right now. Wow, we lost a ton of power projection. There goes our stability. Hmm, 92 points. It's not that expensive. I could make it cheaper by hiring this moron, but seven ducats a month seems a little bit prohibitive. Hmm. 
10% is 10%. There we go. It's too bad, because we're still behind on admin tech. Anytime we core anything, it just puts us way behind on admin tech, because coring stuff is very expensive. Did we get any power projection for insulting? No, we didn't. Try insulting France. I guess it doesn't work because we have a truce with France. Anyway, who would join me in a war against Milan? Everyone except Castile. Why? Castile's in debt. But if Castile wasn't in debt, he would join. So perfect. So I can call in the Pope and France as co-belligerents against Milan. We'll take Roma for my vassal. Or I can just leave Roma for later. Uh, I think I just want to take these two provinces and that's it, really. And make France spit out some more, spit out champagne or something. That'd be nice. Ally Bavaria. I'm already over my diplo limit by one. I don't want to go over by two. The Bible translated. Improve relations with everyone except Switzerland and Tuscany. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what my vassal thinks of me. I can improve that whenever I want. Is Denmark Protestant? Yes, they are. Austria declared war on Venice. <laughs> France joined the war against Venice. Fun. France at war with Venice, everyone. That's always good. Also, we're going to have to do some development right now because we're way ahead on Diplo points. We're currently focused on admin. Oh, there you go. Novgorod's going to finish up Muscovy now. Bye, Muscovy. We're way ahead on um, Diplo points right now. We're only getting six per month, but for some reason, that's enough to keep us five years ahead. So we'll spend some of those points on uh, growing our cities a little bit. Naples wants help against the Pope. Eh, that means I'll have a truce with Milan. I don't want a truce with Milan. I don't want a truce with Milan. No, I can't declare on Milan right now. I can't declare war on Milan because I have a truce with France for another, what, th four years. Which means I cannot make France a co-belligerent. I need to make France a co-belligerent so that we don't get massive amounts of aggressive expansion when we take his land. And yes, he's allied to France. So I'm just going to decline this. Sorry, dude. Uh, I'm going to cancel that mission as well. But we are improving relations, so hopefully we can get that alliance back. When can we get the alliance back? Like 10 years? Hmm, it doesn't say when. It should tell you when you can get that alliance back, but it's not telling us. Well, rip prestige. We could be defender of the faith. Want to be defender of the faith? Get an extra missionary. Oh, I can do another church power thing. Extra missionary morale, monthly war exhaustion, more prestige. Eh, it's kind of good. Ah, here we go. Development cost. Yeah. Nice. 5% cheaper development. I love it.
I'm just going to get the ones that have the lowest autonomy. Interesting that Naples is still friendly, even though we uh, dishonored his call. However, the dishonored call is going away at 16 per year. That is not bad. 16 per year is pretty significant. Austria is having no trouble beating the shit out of Venice. We're probably not going to be able to have Venice as a rival anymore after this war, but we'll see. I mean, he's not weak, but he's going to be weaker. He lost Crete. Did he lose Naxus? No, he didn't lose Naxus. Wait, is Naples losing? Naples is losing! <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. That's that's priceless. Naples is actually losing. Wow. Alright, how's our AE looking? Because it was at 30 with with like six nations, but I think it's gone down now. It's down to 27. Alright. What ideas do we have? We have humanist and we're doing quality. Um, I think the next thing we need to do is administrative so that we can get the cheaper coring cost. Either that or we can go trade or diplomatic or influence or something. Influence would be good for the less aggressive expansion. And trade would be good for money, obviously, but we seem to be doing okay on money. We've already built all the docks we can. Are we over our ship limit? Yes, we are. So we can't do any more docks for a while. Can't build any more ships for a while either. Do we focus on temples? Do we go for shipyards? I think we just wait for dry dock. Well, no, because that replaces the dock. Could go for marketplaces. Probably want the marketplaces. Keep our income strong. Yeah. There we go. Just a few of them. I want to keep some money in the bank for any events that we might get. But marketplaces will help secure our dominance on the node. We're at 40% right now. This should bump us up to about 50% with all those marketplaces. Should. No guarantee. Dry dock replaces a dock, yes. So it doesn't take up two building slots, it only takes up one. Where's the building mode here? I know there's a little window that pops out. Where do you access the building mode here? Oh, there it is. Okay. This is very Crusader Kings 2-esque, having it on the side like that. So you have a dock and a barracks. Okay. I wouldn't expect Naples to lose this war, but that's exactly what he's doing. Denmark will cede a whole lot. Oh, God. Denmark. <laughs> Denmark. No. Oh, oh, oh. Denmark! No! Denmark now lives on Bornholm with four development. Oh, Denmark. Oh, Denmark. Also, some idiot died. Oh, Denmark. 
me so sorry. What the? What happened? I just had a pop-up. I don't even know what it was. And apparently I just joined a war. Oh, fuck you, game. I don't even know what the pop-up was. England has declared war on Norway. And I lost my alliance with Brandenburg. Thanks, England. Thanks, game. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I just lost my alliance with the Emperor. Alright, well, thanks for watching everyone. I've been Shen, you've been you. We're out of time for this episode. I will see you next time. Have a good day.